Jaguar warriors were one of the special forces of the Aztec army, which dominated much of Mesoamerica between the 14th and 16th centuries. The Aztecs were a warrior people who expanded by conquest and taxation of other peoples. Their capital was the city of Mexico Tenochtitlan, an impressive city built on an island in Lake Texcoco. These warriors were called Ocelopili in the Nahuatl language, meaning those with jaguar skin. This animal was highly revered by the Aztecs as it represented Tezcatlipoca, the god of the night sky, war, destiny, and magic. The Aztecs believed that by wearing the jaguar skin, they could obtain its strength, agility, and ferocity in combat. Aztec soldiers had to demonstrate their courage and skill in warfare to become jaguar warriors. Their main objective was to capture prisoners alive to offer them as sacrifices to the gods. According to some sources, they were required to capture 12 enemies in two campaigns, six in each. Other sources say four enemies needed to be captured in a single battle. Jaguar warriors belonged to the lower class of Aztec society, the Mesualtin, who were the peasants, artisans, and merchants. Unlike the Eagle Warriors, the other special force of the Aztec army that belonged to the nobility, the Jaguar Warriors could rise socially by their military merits. Thus, they could obtain land, wealth, honors, and wives. Jaguar Warriors formed an elite brotherhood, which trained and lodged in a special building called Kwaukali, meaning House of the Eagles. There, they received military, religious, and cultural instruction. They also participated in rituals and ceremonies to honor their gods and ancestors. Jaguar warriors were in charge of leading the way in battles, facing the strongest and most dangerous enemies. Their reputation was such that they sometimes managed to intimidate and demoralize their adversaries with only their presence. They were feared and respected by all, even by the Aztecs themselves. Jaguar warriors were characterized by their peculiar clothing, which consisted of light armor made from the skin of a jaguar. This skin covered their torso, arms, and legs, leaving their head and feet uncovered. The skin had the head and claws of the animal, which the warriors used to intimidate and attack their enemies. Some warriors also wore a helmet in the shape of a jaguar's head, which gave them a fiercer appearance and protected their skulls. Jaguar warriors carried several weapons, which were common to all Aztec soldiers. The main one was the Macuahuito, a kind of wooden sword with obsidian edges, a very sharp and resistant volcanic stone. The Macuahuito could cut flesh and break bones with ease, and it is even said that it could decapitate a horse with a single blow. Another weapon was the Tepastopili, a staff with obsidian tips used to stab and tear enemies. Jaguar warriors also carried an obsidian dagger, which could be used as a throwing weapon or as a last resort in close combat. In addition to bladed weapons, Jaguar warriors used projectile weapons which allowed them to attack from a distance. One of these was the Atlatl, a device that increased the force and accuracy of darts thrown with it. The darts were made of wood with obsidian, bone, or copper tips and could pierce the armor of enemies. Another projectile weapon was the tlacocli, a wooden bow with a string of plant or animal fiber, which shot wooden arrows with feathers and obsidian or copper tips. Jaguar warriors also used the temetlatl, a fiber sling that launched stones, bones, or balls of hardened clay. Jaguar warriors carried a round or rectangular shield, called chili, which was made of maguey or palm fibers and reinforced with leather or wood. The shield was decorated with feathers, paintings, or symbols, which identified the warrior and his group. The shield served to protect against enemy attacks, but also to capture prisoners, who were the main objective of the Jaguar warriors. These warriors were not only soldiers, but also priests, their life was marked by a series of rituals and ceremonies that they had to fulfill to honor their gods, especially Tezcatlipoca, the god of the night sky, war, destiny, and magic. Tezcatlipoca was the patron of the jaguar warriors 
and they offered him their prisoners as human sacrifices. Human sacrifices were a common practice among the Aztecs, who believed that in this way they fed the sun and the cosmos and maintained the balance of the world. Jaguar warriors captured their enemies alive and took them to their capital, Mexico Tenochtitlan, where they were subjected to a process of purification and preparation. The prisoners were dressed in fine clothes, adorned with jewels and feathers, and fed with corn and meat. They were also taught to play musical instruments and sing hymns to the gods. Jaguar warriors accompanied their prisoners to the main temple, the religious center of the city. There, the priests would cut out their hearts with an obsidian knife and offer them to the sun. The bodies were then thrown down the temple stairs and dismembered. The jaguar warriors kept some parts, such as the head, hands, or feet, which they hung in their homes as trophies. Other parts were given to the nobles or the people who cooked and ate them as part of a cannibalistic ritual. Jaguar warriors also participated in other rituals, such as the Dance of the Flyer, which consisted of tying themselves to a pole and descending by spinning around it, imitating the movement of the sun, or the fire race, which consisted of running with lit torches through the streets of the city, symbolizing the movement of the sun across the sky. These rituals were intended to strengthen the bond between the jaguar warriors and their god and to demonstrate their courage and devotion. Jaguar warriors also celebrated their victories and promotions with feasts and banquets, where they shared their spoils and stories. They adorned themselves with feathers, paintings and jewelry, and drank pulk, an alcoholic beverage made from the fermented juice of the maguey. They also danced, sang, and played games of chance, such as patoli, a board game with dice and chips. These parties were a way to relax and enjoy life after having risked their lives on the battlefield. Jaguar warriors were the protagonists of the battles fought by the Aztecs against their enemies, both to expand their empire and to defend it. The Aztecs were a warrior people who faced diverse rivals, such as the Tlaxcaltecs, the Tarascans, the Mixtecs, the Zapotecs, the Mayas, and finally, the Spaniards. The Jaguar warriors used to lead the Aztec troops, opening the way and attacking the strongest and most dangerous adversaries. Their strategy consisted of surprising, frightening, and disorganizing the enemy with their appearance, their shout, and their speed. Then, they sought to capture the prisoners with their weapons and shields, avoiding killing them since that detracted from their merit. Jaguar warriors also used their projectile weapons to weaken and distract the enemy from afar. Jaguar warriors faced various types of enemies who had different weapons, tactics, and cultures. Some of them were the Tlaxcalteca. They were the main rivals of the Aztecs and resisted their domination. They were allies of the Spanish and provided them with military and logistical support. The Tlaxcaltecs used weapons similar to those of the Aztecs, such as the Macuahuito, the Tapaztopili, the Atel Atel, and the Tlacoxtli. They also used wooden or leather shields and wore cotton or animal skin clothing. The Tlaxcalan warriors were distinguished by their facial and body paintings, which represented animals, plants, or symbols. The Tarascans. They were the inhabitants of the kingdom of Makoacan and also opposed Aztec expansionism. They were famous for their metallurgy and made weapons and armor of copper, bronze, and gold. The Tarascans used metal swords, spears, axes, knives, and arrows, which could pierce Aztec armor. They also used wooden or metal shields and wore clothes made of cotton or animal skin. Tarascan warriors adorned themselves with feathers, jewelry, and paintings, which indicated their rank and clan. The Mixtecs. They were the inhabitants of the Oaxaca region and were subdued by the Aztecs. They were known for their art and writing and produced beautiful codices, ceramics, jewelry, and textiles. The Mixtecs used weapons similar to those of the Aztecs, such as the Macuahuito, Tepostopili, Atl Atl, and Tlacoxtli. They also used wooden or leather shields and wore cotton or animal skin clothing. 
Mixtec warriors were distinguished by their feather headdresses and gold earrings, which represented their gods and ancestors. The Zapotecs, they were the inhabitants of the Awajika region and were subdued by the Aztecs. They were one of the oldest civilizations in Mesoamerica and built the city of Monte Alban. The Zapotecs used weapons similar to those of the Aztecs, such as the Macuahuito, the Tepostopili, the Atlato, and the Tlacochtli. They also used wooden or leather shields and wore cotton or animal skin clothing. Zapotec warriors were distinguished by their clay or wooden masks, which represented their gods and ancestors. The Maya, they were the inhabitants of the Yucatan Peninsula and were subdued by the Aztecs. They were a very advanced civilization that developed astronomy, mathematics, writing, and architecture. The Maya used wooden weapons with obsidian edges, such as the Macuahuito, the Tepostopili, and the Tlacochtli. They also used spears, slingshots, and bows with wooden or bone arrows. The Maya used shields of wood or leather and wore clothes of cotton or animal skin. Mayan warriors were distinguished by their feather headdresses and facial paintings, which represented their gods and ancestors. The Spaniards. They were the conquistadors who arrived in Mesoamerica in the 16th century and defeated the Aztecs. They were originally from Europe and brought weapons and animals unknown to the Mesoamericans. The Spaniards used metal swords, spears, daggers, and arquebuses, which could kill the Aztecs with a single shot. They also wore metal or leather armor and rode horses and dogs, which gave them an advantage in combat. The Spaniards wore wool or silk clothing and wore hats, capes, and boots. Spanish warriors were distinguished by their beards, crosses, and flags, which represented their king and religion. The Jaguar warriors were the defenders of the Aztec Empire until the end when it was conquered by the Spanish and their indigenous allies. The Jaguar warriors fought with courage and dignity, but could not resist the power of firearms, horses, disease, and treachery. The conquest of Mexico began in 1519 when the Spaniard Hernán Cortés landed on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico with some 500 soldiers, 16 horses, and 14 cannons. Cortés allied himself with the Tlaxcalans, the main enemies of the Aztecs, and advanced toward the center of the country. On the way, he confronted several peoples, among them the Totonacs, the Colotecas, and the Calcas, who were subdued or annihilated. In November of 1519, Cortes arrived in Mexico Tenochtitlan, the Aztec capital, where he was received by the emperor Moctezuma II. Cortes took advantage of the confusion and fear of the Aztecs, who believed that the Spaniard was the god Quetzalcoatl, who had returned to reclaim his throne. Cortes took Montezuma hostage and seized the city and its riches. The Jaguar warriors did not stand idly by and organized a resistance against the invaders. In June of 1520, they took advantage of the absence of Cortes, who had gone to fight another Spaniard who wanted to arrest him and rebelled against the Spaniards who remained in the city. The Jaguar warriors attacked the palace where they were lodged and killed several of them. They also killed Moctezuma, who was no longer respected by his people. The Spaniards, led by Pedro de Alvarado, managed to escape from the city but were pursued and attacked by the Jaguar warriors and other Aztec soldiers. This night is known as the Noche Triste, Sad Night, because the Spaniards suffered many casualties and lost much of their booty. The Jaguar warriors were on the verge of wiping out the Spaniards, but they managed to reach Tlaxcala, where they took refuge and regrouped. The Jaguar warriors were not satisfied with expelling the Spaniards and continued fighting to recover their empire. In May of 1521, Cortes returned to Mexico Tenochtitlan with an army of more than 1,000 Spaniards and 80,000 indigenous allies. The Jaguar warriors, Eagle warriors, and other Aztec soldiers defended the city with bravery but were outnumbered and outgunned by the enemies. The Spaniards laid siege to the city, cut off the food and water supply, and bombarded it with their cannons. 
The Jaguar warriors held out for three months, but the city gradually fell. Hunger, thirst, wounds, and diseases such as smallpox decimated the defenders. The Jaguar warriors refused to surrender and preferred to die fighting or commit suicide rather than fall into the hands of the Spaniards. On August 13, 1521, the city was taken by the Spaniards, and the last Aztec emperor, Cuauhtémoc, was captured and tortured. With the fall of Mexico Tenochtitlan, the Aztec Empire ended, and with it, the Jaguar warriors. The Spaniards destroyed the city and built on its ruins the new capital of New Spain. The Aztecs were subdued, enslaved, and converted to Christianity. Their culture, religion, and language were forbidden and repressed. The Jaguar warriors were forgotten by official history, but not by popular memory, which remembers them as heroes and emblems of resistance.